Once upon a time, there was a little kofi tree who lived in the middle of a big forest. Not only was she little, she was very short and rather stout for a kofi tree, but she did have beautiful yellow flowers around her head. The other trees teased her and made her feel very lonely in the forest. I wish I had a little baby brother to play with, she said. Well, she must have been heard by a beautiful white-winged stork who came flying over the forest and dropped a seed right next to the little kofi tree. You must be my baby brother, said the little kofi. The tiny seed started to move. It was ready to slip itself into the earth where it could grow. But a nosy weka, a ground bird, had seen the seed falling to the ground and came scurrying to have a look. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The wicker twittered. He began to peer and scratch at the ground until he found the seed. Oh, yummy! This will do me for breakfast, he squawked. But the little kofi tree yelled out, Hoy, don't you dare! You can't eat my baby brother! And although she was short and stout, she had a big voice. She put one hand on her hip, pointed her long leafy finger and sang as loud as she could, I'm a little kofi five short and stout if you hurt my brother you better watch out and the nosy wicker was so frightened that he shrieked off into the forest flapping his shabby wings wicker 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 and the seed slid into the soil and put out spidery roots and a slender shoot you're growing up the little kofi tree said to her brother However, a wild pig came snorting into the forest. He was so tired, he had just escaped a hunter and his ferocious dogs. He didn't see the shoot and thought he had found a nice clearing. Oh, I can rest here, he grunted. He wiggled his curly tail and began to sit down. But the little kofi tree yelled out, Hoy, don't you dare. You can't sit on my brother. She put one hand on her hip, pointed her long leafy finger, and sang as loud as she could, I'm a little kofi, short and stout, if you hurt my brother you better watch out. And I'll make mincemeat out of you, she added. Well the wild pig was so terrified he squealed off into the forest as fast as his trotters would carry him. Oink oink oink, oink oink, oink oink, oink oink, oink oink, oink oink, oink oink. So the little baby brother put down branches and turned into a small tree. A shaggy dog came swaggering into the forest. He had just had a big drink from the river and was feeling rather full. Aha, barked the shaggy dog. What a nice wee tree. How lush and green. He raised his hind leg and closed his eyes because you know what dogs do when they come across a little tree. And he was just about to let loose when there came a voice. Hoy, don't you dare. You can't water my baby brother. The little kofi tree put one hand on her hip, pointed her long leafy finger and sang as loud as she could. I'm a little kofi, short and stout. If you hurt my brother, you better watch out. The shaggy dog was so embarrassed. He put his tail between his legs and slunk off into the forest. Woo, 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 woo. One day, many years later, a dreadful hush came over the forest. All the animals went into hiding and the birds took cover in all of the trees because a woodcutter had come striding into the forest carrying a shiny sharp-toothed chainsaw. The little kofi's sap ran cold <laughs> and her branches shook with fear as the woodcutter approached her baby brother. Quivering with fright, she yelled out, Hoi, don't you dare, you can't cut down my baby brother. Oh, can't I? The woodcutter replied. What about you then, little kofi tree? You have a stout trunk just the thing for firewood. He revved up his chainsaw 
ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. and the little corfi tree bent her head and waited for the bite but suddenly there was a voice it was a big voice it was a tall voice it boomed from above don't even think about it it was so loud that the ground shook and rumbled towering above the woodcutter and above the forest was the most enormous tree ever seen it was a cody tree king of the forest he put one hand on his hip pointed his long leafy finger and sang in his thundering voice i'm a great big cody tall and stout if you hurt my sister you better watch out and the woodcutter was so frightened he ran out of the forest and never came back. The little Kofi tree hugged her baby brother around his trunk as far as she could reach. And why don't you try to hug your baby brother, your mother, your father, your grandmother, your family? Because there will be light at the end of all of this and let us all live happily ever after, just like the little Kofi tree and her brother.